The business owners in India are hoping 2021 could be a year of recovery. The economy is expected to bounce back from recession after being battered by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. Many of the strict lockdown curbs have been lifted and the number of new daily cases has been on the decline. But economists warn that challenges remain. Rebecca Bundan reports. At the peak of last year's lockdown, this large tea cafe chain was doing just 20% of its usual sales, with its outlets only permitted to offer home delivery for several months. About half of its workforce was sent on unpaid leave as the company tried to stem its losses. But business improved as restrictions were eased in the second half of 2020. The company hopes that 2021 will see this recovery trend heat up, with a shot in the arm from India's vaccination drive. I think that's going to create a very positive sentiment amongst the customer base and their confidence level to step into the stores is going to increase even further. Where we're going to see a much higher impact is going to be on the corporate side where our vending machines are placed in offices. I think people um, now have a very strong bias of heading back to office. He expects business to be back to pre-COVID levels by June, as economic forecasts point to India emerging from recession. Fitch Ratings expects India's GDP to expand by 11% in the coming financial year between April and March, after plunging by an estimated 9.4% in the previous year. Consumer sentiments have improved, and that's getting reflected in increased consumer spending. Investment has also improved, but you know, there is going to take time. The private sector is going to be lagging in that. But Ms Sinha warns that there are also risks, as the country's recovery is partly linked to the success of its massive inoculation drive. Economists point out that India's growth was already slowing before the pandemic. And Fitch Ratings warns the Indian economy will suffer lasting damage from the coronavirus crisis. Following a strong rebound in the coming financial year, it predicts that factors such as the weak state of the financial sector will keep GDP well below its pre-pandemic projected growth path for several years. For the worst affected sectors, such as travel and tourism, there's still a tough journey ahead. We were shut down six months and uh, we opened our shop after a long time in September 2020 and after that we are still trying to cope up with this pandemic and everything and uh, if we compare like right now with the last year uh, we are getting hardly 10% of our business. Economists say more government spending is needed to propel economic growth after its multi-billion dollar stimulus last year. They're looking to see if the upcoming budget on February the 1st delivers the pick-me-up the economy needs. Rebecca Bundan, CNA, Mumbai.